Good evening and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones and we're bringing you live coverage as the three crew, the four crew three astronauts return home to Earth after a six month science and research mission living and working aboard the International Space Station. Crew Dragon Endurance with NASA astronauts Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn and Kayla Barron, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Mauer are slated to push away from the International Space Station at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. This will be the fourth crew return as part of NASA's commercial crew program. And Rajachari, Tom Marshburn, Kayla Barron, and Matthias Mauer are making their final preparations to load into Dragon ahead of undocking just after midnight Central Time. Once Dragon departs from the International Space Station, it will be just under 24 hours between undocking and splashdown off the coast of Florida. And ahead of splashdown, there will be a series of departure burns that move the Dragon away from the space station, as well as a phasing. Just wanted to confirm, I have a go per step three decimal one to uh, continue with 2.103 for Lyle Cartridge 2. And copy that, Kayla. At this time, you, you do have a go for steps three in 2.103 to complete the Lyle config to Lyle Cartridge number two, and then the IMV teardown and hatch closure. Uh, once you're complete, just continue your hatch closed event details and 4.010 for suit donning. And Lyle Cartridge 2 did just hear that voice of NASA astronaut Kayla Barron, who will be returning as part of Crew 3 as she steps through procedures with the ground here in Houston ahead of undocking at 12.05 a.m. Central Time. Now, ahead of splashdown, there will be a series of departure burns that move the Dragon away from the space station, as well as a phasing burn to lower its orbit and line the spacecraft up with the landing location. We'll also have one final deorbit burn, and then Dragon will be scheduled to splash down off the coast of Florida at 11.43 p.m. Central Time, May 5th, 12.43 a.m. Eastern Time, May 6th. After splashdown, one of the SpaceX recovery vessels will be on scene to remove the crew from the Dragon capsule, as well as remove the capsule from the sea. Uh, station at Houston on two for any available crew member. We were hoping someone uh, would be able to put the Node 2 camera on for us at your convenience. Thanks. Hey, copy that, Josh. So we actually have uh, Node 2 Camera 1 on right now. All right, copy. 1 is on. We're going to route it. Thanks. Crew 3's mission began six months ago on November 10th, 2021, when launching from historic Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.
Following a successful liftoff and separation from Falcon 9, the Crew-3 astronauts made their journey to the International Space Station, docking with it on November 11th, 2021. And since arriving, the four astronauts have supported hundreds of experiments and took part in day-to-day -day operations during Expeditions 66 and 67. All four completed spacewalks throughout their mission to support the space station. And since the Crew-4 astronauts arrived to the space station just last week, Crew-3 has been working alongside them in something called a direct handover ahead of their departure. At this hour, the Crew-3 astronauts are making final preparations to load into Dragon and prepare to come home. SpaceX Endurance, fly cartridge 2, unsealed and installed at time 0305. Copy that, Kayla, 0305, bio cartridge 2 installed. Teams on the ground continue to monitor weather in the splashdown zones, but everything looking good so far. And the ground teams have also been performing a number of checkouts in addition to watching weather, such as heat shield inspection, suit evaluation, seat actuator checkouts, prop checkouts, and of course, cargo loading. Right now, we're waiting for crew ingress to the vehicle. And hatch closure is scheduled for a short time from now at 10.20 p.m. Central Time, 11.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Once Dragon's hatch is closed, NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren, who just arrived to the space station last week, will fix a docking target to the outside of the A-pass hatch and then close it, creating a space called the vestibule. He'll then make his way out of the pressurized mating adapter, and then once the hatches are closed, a ground command will be sent to open valves on Dragon to begin depressurizing the vestibule. This will be, bring the pressure close to that of a vacuum, but at about five pounds per square inch of pressure, checks will take place before finishing depressurization. Following that, an undocking command will be sent, and it will take a moment for the umbilicals that connect power and data between the two spacecraft to detach. Then each of the 12 hooks holding Dragon in place will retract. Following this, two quick firings of Dragon's thrusters will initiate separation and undocking will be complete. And this shot here of European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer alongside on his left, European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Christoffredi, as well as NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins. He's suited up saying his last goodbyes before he ingresses the Dragon ahead of hatch closure.
And you all also can see NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren, who also arrived to the space station just last week. He'll be primed to help support hatch closure operations from the space station side. Final preparations continue ahead of hatch closure this evening, including loading up some last-minute cargo that Chell is assisting with. And once the crew is inside the Dragon vehicle, they will have a number of tasks to walk through, including getting internal cameras configured and uncovered, activating the Dragon cabin fan and its associated air filters, doing any quick cleaning of their touch screen displays if necessary, and then of course, finishing up donning their suits. And in this view, you can see NASA astronaut Raja Chari on the left of your screen, as well as NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn, with Matthias Maurer floating in as well as they get into their suits ahead of hatch closure. And endurance, I've got you five by five. How me? Have you landed there on the big loop as well? Switch it over to Dragon to Dragon. Check it there. And you just heard some communication checks between the endurance vehicle and the ground. Again, Crew 3 is just stepping through some final procedures ahead of hatch closure, which should take place here shortly. Currently inside the Crew Dragon Endurance is NASA astronaut Raja Tari, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Moore. Kayla Barron will be entering into the Dragon here shortly. She's just wrapping up some final goodbyes with European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Christofredi, NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins, as well as NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren. I won't have Dragon to ground here. Um, I can give you a call up as soon as we see that connection on there and do that test for the audio connection. Happy Kayla Barron making her way into Crew Dragon Endurance. 
after a six-month mission aboard the orbital outpost. And as you can see now, all four crew, three astronauts are inside Crew Dragon Endurance and they are suited up. Those suits will be worn during all the dynamic phases of flight, including undocking, departure, and the deorbit burn through splashdown. Once inside and settled, the crew may also go through their dragging control systems before they close the hatch, which includes checking on small details like the configuration of the lights in the cabin and on their control panels, configuring their seats and footrests, and removing any temporary covers on items like the window covers prior to departure, as well as giving the dragon hatch a thorough inspection, making sure there is no FOD or foreign object debris on the hatch seals. It's important to make sure there is no FOD so that the hatch can be completely sealed. Just minutes away from hatch closure, and once that hatch is sealed, we'll be able to step through the next procedures ahead of undocking, including depressurizing the vestibule between the station and Dragon. As Crew 3 prepares to depart the space station, we're wrapping up a period of direct handover where the Crew 3 astronauts were able to show around the Crew 4 astronauts who just arrived last week. That helps bring them up to speed on where things are at before Crew 3 departs. And NASA astronaut Kayla Barron will be preparing to close the Dragon hatch here shortly. There are several hatches, one of which is of course the Dragon hatch on Dragon, but then we also have the A-pass hatch, which is the hatch on the station side in between what is called the vestibule. That's the part that will be depressurized down to vacuum before Crew 3 physically separates. Some final fist bumps as Crew 3 prepares to close the hatch. SpaceX and Houston on the big loop, endurance wear on step five of 4.010, and then for the ISS procedure 2.103, we are ready for 3.8, just wanted to confirm we're going to close the Dragon Hatch. And copy that, Raja, so we are with you in your steps in 4.010 and are confirming that you do have a go to close the forward hatch. Hatch closure support. And good news, hatch closure now in work.
SpaceX endures on the big report half is closed. And copy that, Dragon. You'll see the uh, flight computer state change here shortly. We, that, once it has changed, that will be the go for Kayla to complete some of those tasks in location one. And the hatch closed. And the hatch is closed right on the timeline at 10:20 p.m. Central Time, 11:20 p.m. Eastern Time. Now that Crew-3 is inside the Dragon, they will continue configuring Dragon ahead of an undocking later today. That undocking will occur in the wee hours tomorrow morning at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Again, the hatch on Dragon has been closed, and in a few minutes, the A-Pass hatch on the station side will be closed. A-Pass is an acronym that stands for Androgynous Peripheral Attachment System, and it's an integral part of the docking system. A docking target is also attached that will be used to fine-tune the alignment for an approaching spacecraft. Of course, this is not required for today's undocking, but will need to be there for the next spacecraft docking to this port. Once that A-pass hatch is, is closed, depressurization of the vestibule will begin. Crew 3 continuing to step through procedures ahead of undocking. And with Endurance Hatch successfully closed at 10.20 p.m. Central Time, and all four Crew-3 astronauts inside, which includes NASA astronauts Rajachari, Tom Marshburn, and Kayla Barron, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer, that will wrap up our hatch closure coverage. We'll be back live on the air for undocking coverage and will remain on the air through splashdown of Endurance off the coast of Florida at 11.43 p.m. Central Time, 12.43 a.m. Eastern time. Our undocking coverage will begin just a short time from now at 11.45 p.m. Central Time, 12.45 a.m. Eastern Time. We hope you'll tune in for that as well. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston.